Con ustedes, Roy Cisapel, CEO de Radware. Good morning, everyone, and I'm very happy to be here as a guest of uh, MAPS in this conference. It's my honor to present Radio Solutions to you. So, what we are doing at Radware is three main things. We are making sure your applications are all the time available with our application delivery controller solutions, and that always user traffic is going to an available server and list. We're keeping your data secure by protecting the applications against cyber attacks with our web application firewall and our bot security solution. And last but not least, as you transition some of your workloads to the public cloud, we will protect your posture in the public cloud against attacks, threats, and misconfigurations. I want to say, spend some words on Radware in Mexico. So first, we are highly investing in the local market. We have a local team in Mexico. We've added to our global support centers, support in Spanish to facilitate better and easier support for the Mexican market. And we are marketing our market-leading cybersecurity solutions for the country. We are targeting the large enterprises, the financial sector, the telcos, the online and the government sectors, similarly to what we do globally. When we're talking about threats and attacks, as I've mentioned, Radwell is very focused about protecting the mission-critical applications. When we look who is the attacker, there can be many motivations and many type of attackers. It can be the organized crime, especially against financial institutions. It can be nation state actors that are trying maybe to penetrate government or critical infrastructure resources. It can be competitors, especially in the online market, gaming, e-commerce that are trying to understand better pricing, to scrape the site, and so on. And it can be hacktivist, especially as it relates to political, ideology, elections, and so on. So the world is not short of motivation. And this is why we're seeing so many cyber attacks against mission-critical infrastructure and applications around the world. In this slide, you can see that not only there's many attacks, We're seeing them increasing in capacity, increasing in complexity, and in number. For example, in the last quarter, we're seeing 20% increase in application attacks, 15% in burst attacks, DNS attacks, and so on, and it's quarter after quarter in a very fast pace. We can also see that the damage is huge. Hundreds of millions of records of sensitive information, of personal information is constantly being stolen, IP is being stolen, applications are brought down and creating downtime. And those are the, uh, those are the challenges that we at Radware are helping you to overcome. How do we do that? We've created a complete application and data center security stack. On the left side, we are protecting anything that's coming from the outside to your application and data centers against all the spectrum of attacks. It can be DDoS protection against floods. It can be WAF, web application firewall against application attacks, bot manager against robots and automated attacks, and also threat detection and API protection against API attacks. On the right side, if you're deployed in one of the public cloud infrastructure, be it AWS, Azure, or Google, we will make sure that uh, your application and posture of the cloud is protected. Here are some of our statistics from last month about the attacks we were blocking. So we blocked close to 500,000 DDoS attacks across our customer base with 40 terabit of traffic. You can see astonishing sizes. Five billion, close to six billion bot requests. So sessions 
We've identified in real times that they're bad and blocked them in real time, not allowing the hackers getting into our customer sites. And almost 300 million web transactions that we blocked in real time. And you can see it's across all segments, banking, online, high tech, retailers, government, carriers, manufacturing, all are suffering greatly from the cyber attacks. Here are some more statistics about the traffic we're blocking and also a live example. So on the right side on the top, you can see an actual campaign against a stock exchange, a national stock exchange in Asia. And you can see that the attack was leaking. You can see here, there's no blocking, just attack through an Akamai service. However, when we installed our devices, you can see that we immediately started to block the attack and only the legit traffic was allowed to get in. What you can see here is a very sophisticated attack. You can see it's coming and going all the time. We call it a burst attack. And then it's very hard for the operator to block the attack as it's constantly changing and morphing. With our algorithms and capabilities, we were able to block this attack in real time. We have also a lot of experience now already in Latin America and in Mexico. We're, we're blocking in real time for many of the airlines in the continent, bad board attacks. We've just mitigated 150 gig attack for a government of one of the countries in Latin America. For one of the large telcos, we're actively fighting against their bot attacks. And you can see other examples around the world. Technology company, over 300 gig of DDoS attack, banking with very large attacks, and the stock exchange I referred to. One of the big things we're doing for our public cloud customers is really protecting their posture or their workloads against misconfigurations, meaning things that were configured wrongly and a hacker can exploit. We're helping them to tighten the privileges. So even if a hacker comes in, the damage you can create is limited and confined, and we are protecting in real time and detecting whether someone is trying to break in and alerting them. So really an end-to-end -end protection from DDoS to WAF to API, bot security, and public cloud security. Here you can see some of our global cloud security network. This one is the DDoS uh, scrubbing centers. And generally for customers in Mexico, we will um, scrub the traffic either in Ashbourne or Dallas or San Jose or Brazil. And generally, we do that closer to the attacker. We take the attack traffic in, we clean it close to the attacker, and then we carry the legit traffic quickly to your uh, site. We have over 8 terabit dedicated to cleaning those attacks, one of the largest networks in the world, and the one that is most sophisticated, as I'll show you later, from an attack mitigation capability. When we're talking about AppSec, application security, we have many, many nodes across the world, and we're opening more and more nodes uh, every quarter to be closer to the customers. Here we will do the web application firewalling, the bot mitigation, and the API security closer to our customers. In this slide, you can see what some of the analysts are saying about us. So, for example, in Foster, beginning of this year, you can see Radware positioned as the leader of all leaders in denial of service. In Gartner, we are customer choice for web application firewall. We are a strong performer in Foster for web application firewall and a leader in Quadrant for bot management. So, Analysts recognize our technology and execution advantage, and we are a leader in each and every category we participate in. It also shows in our customers and partners. So, for example, both Cisco and Checkpoint are reselling our solutions. The Cisco DDoS solution is actually the Radio DDoS solution. The Checkpoint DDoS protector and the Cloud Wafba Checkpoint is the hardware, Cloud WAF and DDoS solution, respectively. And so goes for Nokia and some of the large system integrators. You can see who do we protect 
So if you buy on eBay, if you pay in PayPal, if you use Twitter, if your applications are using SaaS by Salesforce or SAP or WebEx, all of those customers we are protecting day in and day out against the tax. In banking, many of the very large banks, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, HSBC Bank, rely on us to secure their data centers. And so in carriers, AT&T, Verizon, Bell Canada, Telefonica, etc., we are protecting them and we are part of their MSSP service. With that, I would like to thank you for your time. I hope you will find the day very positive and constructive, and we look forward to engage with you and assist you together with MAPS to protect your vision critical applications and the data centers. I'm sure that together we will be successful and we look forward to partner with you together. Thank you very much. Agradecemos a Roy Sisapel por su participación en el IT Solutions Day.